Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Cameron House Marina. My name is Ruben Mercer. I'm the sales manager here at Marine Sales Scotland. This is a Bayliner 288 Discovery. She is a 28 foot flybridge powered by a Cummings 260 horsepower turbo diesel engine. Huge spec aboard her, things such as diesel heating, bow thruster, radar, chart plotter. Um, she has been very recently anti filled by us. Also, machine polished. Look at the shine coming off the hull there. Uh, and she's undergone a full drive leg and engine service in turnkey condition, ready to go. Absolutely beautiful, very, very difficult to find one nowadays. Let's have a look. So starting at the swim platform then, now this is nearly full beam, not quite, it's about six inches off either side. We've got a reboarding ladder there, that's flip up, flip down, and then you can see there's two snap davits there for the tender. There is the arm. Just over here. Well, that is a transom hot and cold shower. Always good if you fancy a dip, if you are brave enough. Now, the entirety of the flooring in here is flexi teak. Looks like teak, feels like teak, but it's much easier to maintain than real teak. And that's what this table is. It is real teak. You can see the difference in colour between them. The real teak's a little bit lighter. Um, I really do think tables like this look very classy and add a lot to the boat. And it is a space saver. You can flip it up, flip it down. It also rotates, pivots. So if you want to maximise the floor space, well, you can remove it and just have this as a complete wet area. You've got seating for three people on that bench there. And what I can do is if I close this little door over, I can lift up this bench seat. And now we've got seating for six people to sit, enjoy the views at the back, have a spot of lunch. And also remember, there are canopies for each of these sections, so you can fully enclose this indoor slash outdoor area. You can also enclose the flybridge. So there is diesel heating that pops in from down here. And that means that you can heat the entirety of this area, the aft cockpit, and then also up top in the flybridge. Now, as we are on the subject of the flybridge, let me climb up these steps and I'll show you what it looks like. Now you get great 360 degree panoramic views from up here in the flybridge. On the radar arch, you can see we've got, well, radar, navigation light, some other bits and bobs for the televisions. Stereo speakers for the onboard stereo system. And there is enough space for, I would say, four people, port side in the L shape, and then obviously the driver. Now, what does the driver have available to him or her? Well, they've got a bow thruster, electric trim tabs, electric windlass, throttle, gear shift and a spotlight all of the dials are analog they have a sort of brushed aluminium look behind them steering wheel is stainless steel now this garmin unit was only fitted six months ago gives you chart plotting capabilities gps hf So one of the controls for the stereo that I just pointed out there. I should add as well that we do have full canopies for the enclosure. So they zip, and you can see where they zip from there, and they fasten down onto the radar arch. And you can fully enclose this area if you want to, but it is a nice day today. We don't get many of them in Scotland, so why not leave it open? Right, okay, okay. Let's jump back downstairs. Huge. Open plan, modern living saloon. Again, in beautiful condition. Now, the boat lends itself very well to weekending, but it also has superb all-weather capabilities. Now, they start here with the door. Now, it's glass sliding patio door, and that means that you can fully enclose yourself in here, in the saloon, and the elements outside, well, it doesn't matter what they're doing, because you'll have your diesel heating on in here, and you will be perfectly immune to the UK weather. Now, what we can do is we can pull this curtain across and there's also another one here and that gives us privacy from the outside. Uh, if you do have guests staying in this aft berth area or you have two families aboard, well, what you can do is you can pull this, you can see the track there where it runs and you can give someone the full standing headroom or the space to get changed in. Uh, or if you do have young kids or kids in their sort of teenage years, they want that little bit of privacy well, they have it right here, don't they? Now the saloon, the leather is in beautiful condition. It's just been conditioned as well with marine leather conditioner prior 
to presentation. Plenty of space, one, two, three, four, five, six around the table. So there's six berths on it and there's a space for everyone around the table. You may notice down below that the saloon area is stepped well. That costs you nothing. It does not encroach on the space whatsoever. But what it does do is it allows underneath in the midship cabin, it gives you a little bit more headroom. So you actually can sit up against it if you are up against the port side. This table drops down and turns into another berth. I'll show you that momentarily. Just pay attention to all the finishings. There's no stains anywhere. The carpets have just been shampooed. Not that they needed it because they were beautiful before. And that saloon area faces the galley. Quartz Corian galley countertop. Still an impressive, impressive shine coming off it. Now, let us start up here. So, we've got a fridge freezer. Quite a large one as well. Furthermore, we've got a microwave. We've got an Alpine header unit. Now, that has Bluetooth, Bluetooth connectivity. And also, underneath it, we have a Wabasto diesel heating. Now... For those of you who know a little bit about diesel heating, Webasto is the creme de la creme. It's the Rolls Royce of heating. You will not find a better system anywhere on any boat ever, period. Stainless steel hot and cold sink. And we can put this, slide this grate over it. Now you've got one seamless worktop. And furthermore, twin Alcohol electric burners. Really, really nice and clean and tidy. You just simply lift the hood up, close it back down again. Again, this doesn't have any scratches or scrapes on it. So the whole boat really does present like something almost brand new out of the showroom. Fantastic. Much like up the stairs, the helm position here has everything that the flybridge did. It also, though, has radar down here. This is a slightly older Garmin than what was upstairs. Again, has sharp plotting capabilities, GPS, the full works, absolutely everything you would need. You've got your trim tabs control here. There's also an electric windlass, which you can control from up the stairs. And then here you've got a bow thruster, should you need it. The main electricity panel is right there. I like how in the 285 and also this 288 by Lehner, you do have overflow seating. It's just somewhere that you can use as storage or if you are traveling long distances and someone wants to communicate with the driver or the captain here, you certainly can do it from right down there. Now, forward in the berth, very well appointed. It is V-shaped. There's also a television in here so you can watch television from the comfort of your own bed. Nothing better than that, is there? Now we do have recessed shelf storage on both sides. If you want to keep your electricals, wallets, keys, that sort of idea up there. Huge amounts of storage in here. There's also more in these lockers. You've got all of it underneath the seats. Now this is dedicated for sort of cutlery, pots and pans, everything that you'll need for the kitchen. More along here. And you've just got exactly the same in there. Now what I'll do is we've got this to look at in the conversion. We've then also got the heads to look at and then also the second sort of berth area underneath this saloon. I'll show you what this looks like once we drop down the table. You can see that there is a clip. Now that just latches on here. The table, the leg pops down and it all just sits in the latch. Let's show you. And now you just transform this 288 flybridge into a six berth. Ultra comfortable, ultra luxurious, it all is all very durable as well. It's designed to get wet, dirty, muddy. You can just simply wipe it off with a wet cloth. Now you can imagine if you have six people down here, you can come down in any condition, no matter the season. You've obviously got this headlining, which is very good. Not only does it look super, super fancy, it's very good at insulating the boat. You've got the full enclosure all around you. No canvas, no canopies in here. So when you do have this diesel heating on, you can come down here in spring, summer, autumn, winter, no matter what, it can be freezing outside, it'll be nice and comfortable, warm and toasty in here. Why not come down after work, come down for the weekends? 
It's a holiday at home really, isn't it? It's something that you can do all year round. Now, let us have a little look at the heads. So we've just got the tap up in the shower setting. That will pull out and it will slot back into there. You have also got an electric quiet flush sea toilet that's also got a waste tank because we are in fresh water here in Loch Lomond. Now, this turns into a wet head. You can see you can pull the curtain along. You would simply fit a curtain and it would go along the track and fully seal this off, prevent any water escaping out into the main saloon area. Very well lit. We've got storage behind these, lock behind these mirrors as well. There is full standing headroom in there as well. For those of you who are probably over six foot two, six foot three, you would still get in there. Fantastic. Let's take a little look at the berth. So under here, we've got space for two adults and you can see that sort of stepped saloon construction here, how they have maximized the headroom over to the port side. Initially, we have one cup holder. There's a, a light on a rocker switch and then up at the very back, same again, a light with another rocker switch. Now there's over six and a half feet worth of length there, so everyone can get in there. Very, very versatile. Close it over with the privacy curtain. And also, as I mentioned earlier, if you want to just seal off the entire area, you can do like that. Now, your guests on board, they've also got twin sockets to charge their electricals. And then there's some owner manuals in there. You've got plenty of storage in behind there as well. Okay, lovely, fantastic. I think all there really is to do now is to show you the engine. She's powered by a Cummins Mercruiser 260 horsepower turbo diesel engine. Now there is one of the two Peters. There is plenty of space in here. There's an inverter fitted. Lots and lots of room for an engineer to do his or her thing down there. Again, engine in mint condition. Was serviced by our service engineer. It was his parents' boat after all for about nine years. So she wants for nothing has been taken care of with an open checkbook. Lovely. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. Jolly Roger, our big liner 288 Discovery. I'm Ruben from Marine Sales Scotland, where fun in the water begins. <laughs>